Do you have an old PC or an old laptop laying around something at home? Why don't put it to good use and set it up to play retro games? Anything from NES, Super Nintendo, even PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and if your PC is powerful enough, even some Switch game. It's something really easy to do. The only thing that you're going to need is really the computer that you want to use. It can be a 10 euro laptop. This is not a problem. One USB flash drive. And of course, one controller. I'm going to let you guys some recommendations on the description. Let's start. First, we need the software. In this case, we're going to be using Patosera. This is a front-end Linux distribution that is specifically designed for gaming, especially for retro gaming. So you want to go into the website. I'm going to let you guys all the links in the description down below. Go into download. And from here, you can see right here the x64 one. Click into the direct link, or if you prefer, you can go into the torrent. Once you have downloaded, we need a software to be able to flash Patosera into the USB flash drive. For that, you want to download the Balena Etcher. Now you can take your USB flash drive and insert it into your PC. Once you have it installed, you want to open the Balena Etcher. You want to click into Flash from File. Now select the Batosera OS image that you just downloaded. Click into Open. And here it's going to show you Select Target. Inside of here, be really sure that you select the drive where you want to install Batosera because everything on it is going to get deleted. So don't choose any of your hard drives. Select your USB drive. Click into Select. And now you want to click into Flash. This is going to start the process of flashing Batosera into the flash drive. Now when this is done, you can take out your USB flash drive and put it into the PC where you want to install Batosera. In my case, I'm going to be using this old laptop that I have right here. Turn it on. And now you want to turn it on. You want to press the F2 or F10, F11 or the lead key, depending on your system. Some systems may be a little bit different until you go into the BIOS of your PC. Now, instead of the BIOS, every system is going to be a little bit different. But what you want to do is to scroll until you see boot and from there select the boot option, not to the hard drive of your system, but to the USB drive that you have connected with Batosera OS on it. Go into save changes and exit. And now it's going to start to do a little bit of an installation process inside of the USB drive. And then you're going to be booting up into Batosera OS. Now it's time to graph your controller. Once you connected your gamepad, Sometimes it's going to be automatically configured, but if not, it's going to show you one screen where you can simply select all of the buttons of it, following along the guide, it's really simple, and you're going to be done. Now, to install Batosera into the internal hard drive of your PC, first you're going to need to be connected to the internet, either by an Ethernet cable or by Wi-Fi. You want to click into the Start menu, go into the Network Settings, and in here you want to enable Wi-Fi and set your internet connection. Now, if Atosera don't take your Wi-Fi right out of the gate, you will need to restart the system by pressing to start and then into quit and restart system. But now, once you have the internet, go into system settings, scroll down until you see storage. And in here, click into install on a new disk. Once you're here, this is going to ask you to select a target device. In here, you want to select your hard drive, now into target architecture. You want to go and change it to x86. 64. This is what is going to work best for your PC. It's going to ask you, are you sure? You want to select yes. And then you want to click into install. Depending on the type of hard drive that you have, this is going to take longer or less. When it's done, now you can remove the USB drive from your PC and restart it. It's going to start directly into Batosera OS. Once you're here, let me show you guys how you can transfer ROM games and also BIOS files, because Batosera doesn't come with BIOS. So for some systems, you are going to need to bring the BIOS yourself. Now, I cannot tell you guys where you can find BIOS files or where to find the games and ROMs that you need, but it's as easy as to Google search for them. For ROMs, only search for ROMs and the system that you want to download. And for the BIOS, you can search for one GitHub repository, Batosera GitHub, I do believe, and there you can find everything. Now, you can make it of a couple of different ways. You can do it on network ways if you have both your PC where you have Batosera and another PC connected to the same network, or you can do it by simply copying all of the ROMs and BIOS files that you want into a flash drive and then take it and set it up inside of the computer where you have Batosera installed. That is what I'm going to show you guys in this video because I think it's the easiest one to follow along. You want to set it inside of there, 
And as you can see downwards on the screen, you can see that if you press F1 in your keyboard, you're going to go into files. This is a file explorer of Batocera. Inside of here, you can see the folders that they are from Batocera. Here the BIOS folder, and inside of here, you see the ROMs. Now, as you can see, my flash drive appears right here. Now I can go into the BIOS files, select all of them, and I can move them around to the BIOS folder. Now, into ROMs, you see a bunch of folders right here. These are the names of the system that Batocera can run games of. You can find anything from Nintendo 64 right here, Amiga CD, 3DO, 3DS, SNES, NES, PSX, PlayStation. It's a lot. Now you want to select the ROMs that you want to copy and set it up into the console which they are designed. This is really important. Let's say, for example, that I want to copy some Game Boy Advance games into my system. So you go where you have your Game Boy Advance ROMs, select them, you can right-click into them and select into copy. Now go into the Batocera folder, search for the Game Boy Advance, and now you want to paste all of the games in there. Once you have everything, you can click into File and Close Window. You're going to be back into the menu of Batocera. Now, as you can see right here, once you go into the Game Boy Advance, your games are in there. For that, you want to click into the Start button to open the main menu, go into Game Settings, and in here, click into Update Games. Now, you're going to see all of your games in the folder of the system that you installed them. But they look really bad, isn't it? Like this, without any pictures or anything, so we're going to change that. Press into the Start button once more, scroll down till you see Scraper, go inside of them, and here is Personal Preference, in Screen Scraper is one of the best, but you have to create an account. You can use the Games Database, this is what I'm going to use right now. In here you can change the Scraper settings. If you want a screenshot, if you want a title screenshot, Box2D, fan art, anything that you want, I want a Box2D, Box Source, I'm going to leave it in low, Logo Source Wheel, this is okay, and in back. Now you want to select Game to Scrape for Game Missing Any Media, System Included, Right here, you can select all of them. I'm going to only select the one, the Game Boy Advance, because it's the only one that I put games for this tutorial. And you want to click into Scrape now. As you can see on the corner right there, they're starting to scrape all the images that this can find for the games that you have in your system. And when it's done, you want to go once more into Game Settings and update the game list. Now you can see all the cover arts for the games. If they don't find some of the images, maybe you have to change the name of the game or search it yourself. But now you can go inside of the game that you want and you're going to be playing your favorite retro games and not all games with a system that, for example, if you use a laptop, you can take anywhere with you. Now, if you want to go out of the game, you want to press the hotkey and the start key. Normally, select and start at the same time. With nothing more to say, guys, go and enjoy your games. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments, okay? See you on the next time. Bye-bye.